Hello, Internet. Idiot Craftman here. Today, I just wanted to walk you through setting up a print in the FlashForge Studio, which is Flash Print 5. So I'm going to be running this on my FlashForge Creator Pro. FlashForge Creator Pro. Um, I know I had a little bit of a hard time getting started with this program. It didn't make a whole lot of sense to me at first. Um, and I kind of stumbled with it quite a bit. Uh, I've gotten it working since then and everything's been peaches and gravy. So kind of just wanted to go through it a little bit with you here. And if you have any questions that I do not cover, please comment. And Um, let's see here. All right, so this is the project that I just got finished with here. So this is the little hedgehog that I made, which let me show you guys that real quick before we get into everything here. Okay, there So that's this guy did do a little short on the process of making him, so if you're curious at all, check that out. All right, so let's get back to it real quick. So, the, what was this thing called again? Flash Print program is a little bit awkward at times. So, let's see here. So, we want to view this guy from the front. So I'm actually going to click on him. Delete the selected model. We are going to go into file and so what I want is I actually to make something for one of my buddies day tomorrow so I'm gonna try to print them before that hopefully I get so this guy open here and we've got a loading screen Woo. All right, there we go. So we've got a little flash kind of statue guy. Looks like he's got some kind of puzzle based thing. I don't know if that's supposed to be for something. Or, uh, all right. I always manage to get this thing all messed up, but there we go. So we've got him here. So I do want to make him just a little bit bigger. So we're going to scale him up. Come on. Let's scale him up 200%. There we go. Nice big size guy now. So got him scaled up to about where we want him to be and we are going to come over here I believe this is not there we go supports is what we're looking at so I want to do I keep losing my mouse bear with me I'm getting used to the whole multi-screen thing here so we want the tree supports, we're going to do auto supports, and you can see it's generating support structure here. And we are generating, there we go, now we've got a real Cthulhu looking model.
Alright. So now we're gonna oh I forgot. So the uh Flash Forge Creator Pro uh has two filament loadouts. So on the right side I've got just a regular black filament. On the left side I've got a cool kind of multicolor filament that is uh, black, red, and gold. Uh, so that is what I used for the hedgehog here. And that's what I want to print this guy in. I don't know what colors it's going to end up with because it's kind of a slow transition from what I can tell. So let's go into here. We're going to start slicing. Oh, sorry. I brought all that up because we need to make which you right. All right. Now we can start slicing. Okay, so I honestly haven't had any issues with these layer heights. Um, I do want to come up here to infill um, because I do want to make this a little bit sturdier than I normally would for myself. So I'm putting this up to 20%. Um, everything else on here is just kind of standard the way that it has it. Um, all of your other settings over here, Raft um, supports all those custom settings. So make sure that what I'm sure you like and slice. Um, yeah, I think that I think that this is going to do dual extrusion printing because the uh, supports are going to be with the other filament. So we're just going to let that slice itself up real quick. Grab the memory card here and. So we're going to come up here to the slice preview and this is going to give us an idea of what it's going to print like. So, there uh, we have it. Let's take a look down here through the layers. That'll give you an idea of how that's going to run there. All right. Um, I don't really know any better to mess with it, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to come up here, save to local. is my memory card here. I really should change it away from whatever the symbol craft is here. Um, we're going to save. And then on my screen over here my computer always yells at me if I don't uh, I don't eject, so I have to come over here and select to eject that. And we are good to go there. So now, take this guy. Probably should have had him getting warmed up, but we're gonna go through sure that we got our print bed set up on there like so and now we're good so that's gonna heat up um, that should run overnight Let's see. 
bring it back over here. So you can see up here, it's supposed to run for five hours and 11 minutes. So I'm pretty much gonna watch to make sure that the first couple levels come out all right. Um, if they do, then we should be good to go on that. Um, but I will be uploading a short on how that comes out tomorrow. Um, yeah, I will be putting a link to the filament that I use in the comments section down below. So check there if you're interested in the filament. And if you have any questions, throw those in the comment. Uh, uh, like and subscribe. Yeah.